Hello there and welcome to your Monday Minute with Pastor Matt. Hope you're having a great Monday and that you are excited about the week that lies ahead. Now, one of the reasons I love a Monday is because of the possibilities of the week. The uh, week has gone and now you're in a new week and you've got so much that is probably on the calendar and on the plate to be done. And so I hope that you are excited about that. And I want to bring you a verse, a few verses out of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 today. Paul's talking here and he's going through the list. He says in verse number 7, Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you. He's talking to the church of Corinth here. Because you go to law one with another. That, what that's saying is because you condemn one another. He goes down a little bit further and he says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit in the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, adulterers, uh, um, adulterers, effeminates, abusers of themselves, uh, thieves, covetous, drunkards, revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And he says something here that I think is uh, we need to remember. In verse number 11, he goes, And such were some of you. He's talking about the church here and how they have been so condescending and condemning towards the, the, the sinners, right? That he says, and such were some of you, but ye are washed, mm. but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. And he goes on to say, he says, all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. And he makes a statement here that I, I want to get with you to share with you today, and I really want you to grab onto. He goes, now the body is not for fornication. And when it's saying that there, what it's talking about at this moment in scripture says, now the body is not for fornication. And that means it's not for idolatry. It's not for it's not for to put up an idol. It's not to, to worship something. The Bible says, but it is for the Lord. And I think of all the Christians out there and, and, and everybody that does what they want to do and how that's not what we're called to do. We're called to serve God, to give Him our life, to follow Him, and to do what He's commanded us to do not what we desire to do. And it would be good for all believers to remember that. So Christian, this week I want you to remember that, that you were created with a purpose to do what Christ has called you to do. Not what you want, but what He wants. I've never met anybody that lost their life, so to speak, in serving the Lord Jesus that has come back and regretted it. On the contrary, too many people have wished they had done more that didn't do enough. And so I encourage you this week, may you give your life over to serving Christ with everything that you have. I love you. Have a great rest of your Monday and a great week. Catch Pastor Will on Wednesday for your Wisdom Wednesday and then Pastor on Friday for your Friday Focus. We love you. We'll see you next Monday.